Hi guys, should you buy Raspberry 3 or should you stick to Raspberry 2 instead? Now, if you don't have any of these boards, the answer is simple, just buy Raspberry 3. It's a no-brainer, it's better, faster, it has a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so just don't wait, go, and go ahead and buy it. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated if you already have a board itself and uh, you already spent some money to get a nice shiny case, uh, attach the Wi-Fi, maybe hook it up with Bluetooth and, you th and well, you left there uh, thinking like, should I be getting another one? Well, let me tell you about the differences now. And just look at them, how different they are. Raspberry 3 with built-in uh, internet and support and Bluetooth and uh, low technology Bluetooth as well for your pleasures. Even color is slightly different if you spend some time and look at it. Uh, also, the chip itself, it's boosting 300 GHz of extra horsepower for your computing. However, this is not the most important update uh, to the board. And it isn't the, uh, you know, the SD card reader either. Which, by the way, it's terrible. In my opinion, the difference right now between two boards is the chip itself. 64 bit versus 32 bit. And while um, our Raspbian reminds 32 bit, it doesn't matter. However, it's fair to assume that we're going to move uh, to have a Ras uh, Raspbian available as a 64 bit uh, operating system. And this makes me wonder because if you go online and if you read about, uh, well, all the changes uh, in the processing in regards to 32 versus 64 bit architecture you will discover that uh, it followed with a RAM upgrade as well. And so far, amount of the RAM available with uh, these microcomputers has not changed, which I think we are looking here into a uh, type C revision, which would support probably two to four gigabytes of RAM and maybe the same processing or slightly improved processing. So if you not in rush, in buying a second Raspberry Pi board? Don't! Just wait and I do believe we, within a few months uh, we're going to have a next revision of the board with improved RAM uh, once the Raspbian 64-bit is available. So let me know in the comments what do you think about it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe something I've missed, but this is my ideas of uh, whether you should buy a new Raspberry Pi 3 or not. So thanks for watching guys! Take care.